one of the prayers I like to pray, both when I'm sitting quietly, but also when I'm in the middle of uh, a busy situation, uh, because it's short and easy to remember, uh, is Jesus' prayer, uh, very beloved of the Orthodox Church uh, and derives from Scripture and one that's been taken over by the Western Church. Uh, it comes from St. Luke's Gospel, the parable of the Pharisee and the tax collector. Um, Lord Jesus Christ, Son of the living God, have mercy on me, a sinner. The tax collector prays, uh, God, have mercy on me, a sinner. And then the Orthodox Church developed it into Lord Jesus Christ, Son of the living God, have mercy on me, a sinner. And it becomes something uh, that has become part of the liturgy and that we can pray, Lord Jesus Christ, Son of the living God, have mercy on me, a sinner. Um, it becomes something that we can pray in our prayer time, but it becomes something that's easy to remember that we can pray in the midst of a meeting, uh, while we're cooking, while we're um, on the bus. Um, at any point when we know we need to pray, we can just shoot it up like an arrow prayer. It can be at a time when we feel we're a sinner, when we can name it. It can be at a time when we don't feel like we're, when we're a sinner, when we feel we're absolutely untouchable and we've got it all sorted and we need to be reminded that actually we need God's strength, that we can't do it on our own. It's a wonderful prayer. Lord Jesus Christ, Son of the living God, have mercy on me, a sinner. Uh, we, we can be reminded that at all times we are enveloped in the love, the grace and the mercy of God who is always watching over us, who is inside us, around us, above, beyond, before and behind us and encompassing us, who is uh, ahead of us and behind us. Lord Jesus Christ, Son of the living God, have mercy on us, sinners.